turn. Never applies forever, Gus. There are barely 27 kids ahead of us. Out of the way, fourth grader. Make that 28. Oh. Come on, let me in. Help, help, I'm stuck. I got it, I got it. every day. Overcrowdedness is a growing trend in the public school system. Third Street is no exception. Hey, at least we got lunch to look forward to. No, not another line. Yeah, but this time it's worth it. Look what we're having. Tuna fish tacos, my favorite. Good thing I brought my trusty hot sauce. are probably cooking up a fresh batch as we speak. Here you go, kids. Cream liver and eggplant. Man, what a lousy day. Yeah, just once I wish we had the whole school to ourselves. Nobody to mess up our kickball games. Nobody to make us wait in big lines. Nobody to snarf down all those tasty tacos. But who are we kidding? It's just a dream. And there's no room for dreaming at Third Street School. Yeah, there never was. Come on, guys. We're going to be late. Hey, where is everybody? We must be later than I thought. We can't be that late. According to my watch, which I set every morning to the atomic clock in Boulder, Colorado, it's only 30 seconds after 8. But if you're wrong, we'll all get detention. Come on! Is Grokey? Huh? Oh, I thought you kids were all sick today. Well, I feel fine. Oh, you kids must not have eaten the fish tacos. Don't remind us. Well, every kid that did eat them is homesick today. You mean we're all alone? Apparently. But, Miss Grokey, didn't you eat the fish tacos? Well, actually, Gus, the faculty eats slightly different food than you kids do. How is the pheasant prepared? Seared in a light plum sauce and served with braised asparagus tips. Excellent. And we'll need some more bread. Since the rest of the class is out today, we're going to spend the day exercising the creative side of our brains. In other words, free day. Tender. Seems to be time for recess. You guys thinking what I'm thinking? <gasps> it's beautiful. It's magnificent. And it's ours. All ours. Wait a minute. What about Finster? Huh. I wonder where she is. I'd feel better if you'd let me inspect the child in person. I brought my own thermometer. such a recess? All that playing really built me up an appetite. Wow. I never realized this room was so big. Yeah, no kids, no lines. And look! Pizza! Here's one for you, and two for you, and ah, heck, have as much as you want. We got plenty! Every guy gets his own table! Hey, Vince, got a spare pepperoni? He fades back. Seize that, Wilder. I most definitely see the advantages of low student-to-teacher ratios. It's weird, but I'm actually looking forward to school tomorrow. Good morning, healthy people. Looks like it's just us again.
Hey, where's TJ? I hope he hasn't gotten sick as well. Hi, sorry I'm late, but I didn't want to come to school unprepared. I got comics for everyone. Senior Fusions, Volume 1 through 273. Including his adventure with Lobster Boy? Got a chocolate stain on the cover, but the gold shines through. I compliment you on your preparedness, TJ, but I've decided today will be a tad more structured than yesterday. What are you talking about, Miss Grokey? Well, since we're going to be on our own longer than I'd hoped, I thought we'd try some alternate teaching methods. Let's start by refocusing our chi. Refocusing our chi? In other words, everyone move up to the front row. Ah, the energy feels better already. Man, this warps. What was that, TJ? Nothing, Miss Grookey. Good. Now that there are just a few of you, I'll finally be able to give you each the attention you deserve. Uh-oh. Man, I hate being in the front row. She sees everything we do. Well, at least we still have recess. Maybe we should play kickball. With six guys? We don't even have enough for one team. Want to break into the Ashley's clubhouse, steal their makeup kits? Nah, that's no fun without the Ashley's to scream and chase us. every subject and topic in the entire fourth grade curriculum. Any questions? No? Well, then let's get a head start on fifth grade. Well, at least we still have lunch. Yeah, let's just chow down and... Oh, no! Please, not that! Leftover pizza? Sorry, kids. Not enough mouths to feed yesterday. Mmm, <laughs> gimme. Before you go, I need you to take your sick classmates their homework. Well, Miss Grokey, every kid in the class is sick. That's why I prepared this map. Now, I've divided the city into quadrants. Why? Why is this happening? Sort of ironic, isn't it? The thing we wish for most has become our greatest nightmare. Look at the bright side. Sooner or later, everyone's going to get better and come back to school. Heck, I bet most of them will be back tomorrow. Man. Must have been some bad tuna. The lonely creak of empty swings. The cavernous echo of vacant bathrooms. I can't take it anymore! I'm gonna do something I should have done a long time ago! He's got a note! Now, Gus, don't do something you're gonna regret. I'm gonna do it, TJ! Don't try to stop me! Put down the note, Gus. Just put it down and everything will be okay. Never! Oh, uh. <laughs> I could have got out. I really could have. Dear Miss Grokey, Please excuse our son Gus from school today. He's so sick, he better stay home till all the other kids are well. Sign, my mom? That's pathetic. Is it? What do you mean, TJ? Well, sure, it's a pretty crummy note, but maybe Gus was on to something. I mean, if they thought we were sick, they'd have to let us out of school, too. What, you want us all to write fake notes? Nah, too obvious. They figure it out. On the other hand, if the school nurse said we were sick... Why would she do that? I have a thought. Follow me. Nurse Craver, we've got a problem. What's that, children? Gus isn't feeling too well. Uh, oh, well, sit down here, Gus. You don't feel hot. Oh, uh, oh, I better take your temperature. All right, put this thermometer in there and keep it in until... No, no, don't take it out yet. Find anything? Oh, here's a good one. Well, it's normal. Are you sure you're sick? Oh, do you have a bucket? Oh, okay, I think I got it. <clears throat> Whoa! Wow! I feel much better now. Thanks, Mrs. Kramer. You sure are one great nurse. You sure this is gonna work, Gretchen? Trust me, TJ. The rest of you start eating that blue candy. <gasps> I've never seen such a thing. Oh. What could be wrong with you? Perhaps you should seek help from an appropriate medical text. Medical text, right. Now, where did I put that book? Second from the left. Uh, see, your blue tongues, green spots. Here it is. Good sweet Mike! This is horrible. You children are seriously ill. Gee, Mrs. Kramer, I guess you'll have to send us home. Home? No, that's out of the question. I'm afraid it's much worse than that. Worse? What do you mean, worse? <laughs> job, Einstein. Sorry, guys. I thought it was supposed to be Great Spot's blue tugs. Not the other way around. Hey, they can't keep us in here forever. Please remain calm. We've got the best experts in the country flying in right now. You'll all pull through. I hope. They're so young. So young. Man, look at all those kids. I sure wish I was out there with them. Same here, man. Same here.